Okay. Um, so we will see this in this session um, about configuring Redwood uh, sales dashboard. Okay. If we go to sales dashboard. Uh, so we could see all these reports, right? And then uh, here we have uh, different types of uh, um, reports embedded into this sales dashboard. So it can be a, a saver search or a, a report or any OBA report, so et cetera, et cetera. So we can embed, right? So all these embedding can be done uh, using visual builder studio only so like uh, we modify other pages to configure a sales dashboard also we need to uh, edit since it's a visual builder page so you can go to the edit page in visual builder studio link from the sales dashboard screen And then select the project. So I'll select workspace. And it will open a, a sales dashboard screen. So to to view in, uh, in a better uh, right, so you can minimize uh, other sections, and then so that it will become easy. Uh, to view and to con uh, to design. Okay. So, so from here, uh, you, again we go to the design mode, and then enable properties. Here we have different sections. So if you see, it's a dashboard fragment. Within this dashboard fragment, so we have a CX bar. So this is not a uh, this is nothing to uh, configure anything here, but it's a search bar for the entire dashboard. Uh, so then we have metric container. So where we can uh, store, where we can give the metric values. Example, uh, we can use this as a tile. So we can show uh, the counts or any any type of aggregations. So we can show here. And uh, so this is called metric container and whatever is inside here is called metric uh, value or metric uh, section. So each metric will have the, its own uh, aggregate. So if you go to live mode, uh, you can see my do my to do tasks and pipeline so this is another tab so we can also use uh, these tiles as a different tabs within this sales dashboard so you can you can create one more uh, tile here and then you can add the re uh, the relevant content into that metric If you don't want metric, you can also just uh, give the, uh, I mean, you can give the blank and just keep it as a tab. That's also fine.
so now uh, so this is metric container tab so to add any container here so you click on this section and it will open like a page uh, so we have seen adding a layouts uh, to pages right similar way uh, we have the sections here so here if you observe by default it is uh, it is divided into two sections uh, these are out of the box uh, rule sets for sales dashboard to display the my to do tasks and pipeline so basically this metric container right so it has two different uh, uh, sections one for sales manager and one for sales uh, uh, basically here one for sales manager and other for sales representative but the condition is not available for sales representative so it will be available for, for all users this is the default one uh, so let me duplicate the sales representative one as we don't have condition there we can be able to preview so a, even if you want to preview uh, for the sales manager uh, metric you can uh, click this layout pre preview so that the respective uh, container will will replace and we can preview that here and then you can remove by reset override so now we have uh, we have duplicated the sales representative metric metric card and then uh, we have uh, two different sections one for my to do metrics and that is this one and the second one is sales representative pipeline metrics so that is this pipeline uh, metric okay so to add a new metric here you can go to uh, add section here So you can add a, a new section here and it will create an empty section. Okay. So then you go to the code mode and you can add a, a code here. Okay. And the code is it's again a fragment and the fragment name is called CX metric card so you can search from here okay. CX metric card you can add this or you can add the uh, predefined code for this and just replace as per your uh, requirement So now let me copy this. Okay. So now uh, we will see what are the required parameters to modify, etc. So the first one we don't need to we don't need to change anything here is fine and second parameter is resource so this resource will tell you which object what is the primary key and what is the endpoint so if you are work if you want to add a, a metric for a different object you just need to replace this uh, name so this is the rest name so you can give that rest name and primary key will be that id then query so we will be using the save it search adaptive save it search, save it search for this okay so uh, the source for this is save it search so we will be using type as save it search adaptive save it search 
and then query u u id we need to provide so we'll see how do how we will get how we can get this uh, query bb u u id for a specific uh, saved search and then uh, the next parameter is for dashboard filters so we have seen something like here right time period so to apply this uh, global filters we can use this uh, dashboard filters uh, variable we can pass that so if you don't want to apply the global filters so you can remove this uh, particular variable then badge item so this shows something like uh, here you can see some critical right so if you want to display something like this so you can add uh, that value here and then title of that item so that will be my to do's or whatever uh, so you can give that title for that metric card so these are all the required parameters to enable the metric card now you go to design mode or live mode and then go to return to page and you could see my target business as 18 so it it selected some saved search okay so now before that we need to identify the We need to identify the we need to identify the UUID, right? So how we get how we can get that is so go to the save it search. Okay. Uh, so if it is opportunity, so then go to opportunities. So you will you will see this particular uh, opportunity open opportunity save it search right so that is open opportunity some save it search okay now uh, go to inspect mode and go to network and just try a refresh here So you will get uh, one with, with this kind of uh, format, custom actions, queries. Okay. So you can click one of this custom uh, queries, uh, queries uh, request. So here basically you can find the the UUID of uh this particular save search you can see here you can see query uuid now copy this so this is all open opportunities right so so like this uh even for another other save search So you can you can see uh, for different saved searches you can get the different uh, uh, UUIDs. So you can get those IDs and then you can use that here. If now the count is changed based on that saved search. So even we can provide a different uh, attribute 
uh, for this like aggregation by using the format like this uh, you can use aggregate here uh, if you click on properties and click on that particular uh, metric and go to the aggregate so the default will one will take the count so if you want to give a different aggregation here so then you can just give in this format field and the api name of that field name and the function will be sum or min max count etc okay, average so these these values you can take so by default it will take count so if you want any of other so you can take one of this four um so then uh, now we created a metric card here okay now if you preview here so you can see uh, this tab and the respective reports right but if you go to my target business you will not see anything because because we have not created anything and uh, for this we just created a metric card here 